Belgium-born Kim Kleisters is the latest addition to a flock of young tennis prodigies. Following in the footsteps of Monica Seles, Martina Hingis, Venus and Serena Williams, Kim is fast becoming a sporting phenomenon. Barely turned 18 years of age, she had already graduated to the Senior Women's Tennis Tour and achieved much success. She first caught everyone's eye in 1999 at Wimbledon, upsetting seeded player Amanda Kurtzer in the third round. She then came within inches of beating the 99 US Open champ Serena Williams in the third round. But the Belgium hasn't had overnight success. However, from the first day she placed her hands on a tennis racket, she was bound for it. Kim was born on June the 8th in 1983 in Belgium. The parents Lai, a professional soccer player, and mother Els, a courageous cancer survivor. She first picked up a racket when she was five years old and instantaneously realized that she wanted to, and could, play tennis. With Father Lai's incredible soccer career, the young Belgium never had trouble finding the money for coaching and travelling in order to follow her dream. She certainly didn't have any troubles in the juniors either, as she breezed through. Trophies adorning her mantelpiece include a 1998 French Open Juniors doubles title and a runner-up title at the 1998 Juniors Wimbledon. At this point, it was very clear to Kim and her coach, Carl Mays, that she was ready to tackle the worldwide circuit, despite her tender age of 17. When Kim entered the WTA, she had little of a reputation, carrying a mere three satellite title wins. But she started the experts talking when she premiered in 1999, after competing in the Antwerp tournament as a lucky loser, reaching the quarterfinals. At her first Grand Slam, Wimbledon, she reached the fourth round after beating the tenth seed, Amanda Kurtzer, in the third round. Although she lost in the pursuing match, it was consolation to fall to her idol, Steffi Graf. Her final phenomenal show at a Grand Slam was at the US Open, when after reaching the third round, met eventual champion Serena Williams. Kim was serving for the match at 5-3 in the third set, but that was the game where Serena found her groove and won four straight games to win the match. The loss looked as if it would be Kim's greatest regret, but she assured the Grand Slams were just the beginning of her career. In 2001, she went a stage further, reaching her first Grand Slam final, when defeated in three sets by Jennifer Capriati at Roland Garros. Not only was this a major personal milestone for the young player, it was the first time anyone from Belgium had reached a Grand Slam final in the history of women's professional tennis. Not long after her defeat in an astonishing 12-10 final set against Capriati, Kim was taking some positive things from the outcome. After all, she had made herself a national hero at home, and the French Open experience had raised her own expectations about what she could achieve on the international stage. It was also around this time that she found solace in another promising talent on the world stage. It was to be Aussie idol Leighton Hewitt, later to become her partner both on and off the court, as the couple climbed up the world rankings in their respective categories at a rapid rate. Kim's tennis career looks like a guaranteed success story. Male and female world number ones all started out young and big, but ultimately became gargantuan. Kim is en route to join that pattern. Her premier debut to the world circuit has opened many an eye and they're still wide open because it seems Kim Clijsters will be around for some time.